So, uh, um, I'm here today for uh, presenting uh, my paper and this schematic uh, design uh, for emerging mobility and uh, complex soil uh, application uh, to energy uh, based on the children of system. The outline of the presentation is uh, as the following. I will introduce the subject. Thereafter, I will deal with IPS and mobility. Thereafter, I will present the scenario analysis and its requirements and implications. And uh, thereafter, I will present uh, the proposals and I conclude in the, uh, at the end uh, with some conclusions and the general future works. So, uh, as uh, an introduction, um, we can say that uh, recently many advances in mobile devices and wireless networks and cloud computing technology have led to uh, the emergence of new applications providing rural data to their users. And uh, the very changing characteristics of mobile devices and their surrounding environment may lead to undesired and unpredictable uh, uh, situations. So, the, the need to contact awareness and adaptability are now a uh, strong uh, requirement. In one hand, uh, we have uh, many research in particular that focus increasingly on contextualized activity. In the other hand, there are many attempts uh, dealing with mobile uh, learning. We also consider that IPS are a particular kind of learning system which is complex, intelligent, distributed, and especially adaptable. But, uh, current IPS architecture has not advanced mobility and the dynamic adaptability to take account in new user context. And a new adaptable, so we propose a new adaptable and a, a configurable uh, mobile IPS architecture uh, by combining and porting all the AI features and semantical technologies on top of Android uh, platform. This could be in context awareness and adaptability and also adaptability at Atlanta. So uh, this is our uh, scenario uh, analysis. We present uh, two scenarios. The first scenario is uh, with uh, a conventional ETS architecture, um, which will be read of this. this. We, we have uh, uh, the four modules of uh, the IPS, and uh, we have also the layer uh, for uh, opening the, uh, the IPS, and uh, we can uh, capture uh, users' requirements. For example, uh, the first level, the life assessment methods, but with small examples, and then appear accurate if that given on the run. The second life service, but we don't like the previous one, uh, and the first collaborative activity. The development of the future of the extent abilities, but also prefers possibilities for simulating all the resolution levels, and the development uh, of uh, uh, find content very bad because uh, it finds that it's very uh, hard for me to carry out all the training. So, other than me, it is the work that analyzes these requirements. For the second scenario, it gives uh, a lightweight version of the data which is embedded on mobile devices and new requirements are uh, emerging. The first learner realizes all activities they need to do it by way of the compass, but he needs more collaborative activity and he wants specially to localize, for example, some books while he is moving around the, the library. The teacher uh, has new activity to offer to the students and the developer has developed a new version of UJS, but it will turn on all kinds of student devices. So, uh, the word that could summarize these requirements is context awareness. Uh, let's now present
many focus of your shorts uh, is uh, how to deal with content, data storage, human communication and interface, and we find uh, that, that there are uh, two great categories of workers. Uh, the first one makes content between and hash uh, CI uh, customization outside the mobile uh, device in a static manner. Uh, the other kind of uh, category uh, of words we plain server architecture, mainly with oriented, and so data processing, storage, designing, and uh, human communication and database adaptation uh, is done server side. So adaptability implemented in these words concern only learning content, pedagogical uh, learning process, and human communication uh, interface, which is uh, then uh, read in a static uh, manner. Uh, we have also uh, previously uh, 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 studied uh, some works uh, dealing with architecture of the players, especially dealing with adaptability and auto adaptability, as well as automatic service study and mobility. And we have found that thematic results uh, uh, present uh, more uh, relevant answers to uh, our uh, problem. So, as a conclusion, of the state of the art. Uh, uh, at the base of our knowledge, none of the existing users, for sure, has addressed adaptation of functionalities for the configuration of mobile intelligent learning systems at runtime, especially by making the use of technologies and semantic design in the term. So, our proposal deals with elastic space and adaptable ITS. Uh, based on OGL and implementing semantics and styles from semantic process on top of an Android platform. So, let's take that Android AI is the application for environment. OGI is uh, the general text of application and several things like implementation. OGI presents an execution for mobile on top of uh, the Java uh, machine and uh, it presents a good unit layer for packaging and programming, uh, programming words. It presents a life cycle layer for service managing modules uh, and a uh, service layer for uh, service oriented architecture. All these layers are uh, expressed into bundles. And the, uh, the implementation framework for OSDI offers uh, some predefined advantages uh, to which uh, the, the developers can uh, add other uh, kinds of branches within applications specific uh, to some domain. So, uh, uh, the OSDI concepts and dynamic uh, we have uh, uh, some concepts uh, on OSDI, which is the concept of uh, abundance. And abundance presents uh, many, many tests with metadata. Uh, abundance uh, could uh, provide some services uh, which could be uh, local or remote. And uh, it could offer also listeners for uh, handling uh, events from the, the context. Uh, OGI is dynamic uh, because uh, each bundle could be a solid resolver or an asteroid at runtime. It could be also started or started at runtime. Uh, for dealing with context ways, we have uh, used uh, OGI uh, on the other uh, platform and uh, we have uh, used especially uh, the, the hardware part of on the way for uh, sensing the context. Uh, as we uh, have explained in this uh, model, uh, on the way present some sensors uh, and each sensor has a sensor manager and present some listeners for sensing and listening to the context and uh, handling this uh, context. Uh, so uh, on the way to provide some facilities for handling the uh, context. So to implement our solution with that uh, model designed with the current model. So uh, this model is used with service ontology uh, and uh, it offers capability uh, and zones uh, and each service could be a listener for sensing complex elements and actually think on uh, context. 
the context uh, ontology or uh, modular table, the context of the user uh, with a uh, deep learning object in this activity and a list of the environment which should be physical for the learning uh, the system uh, which uh, is using as the device, the domain uh, which is an the service ontology is the service of the domain uh, handled by the, the LPS and we can, we can find the specific uh, domain service uh, and for LPS uh, services which uh, to be given to work from an LPS to another. Uh, finally, uh, leading to our uh, context where LPS architecture, uh, as you, you can uh, uh, note, uh, the, the LPS is, is composed of four uh, modules, and each module uh, contains uh, its ontology and its, its manager with some sensors of hand uh, complex. So, all the ETS LPS is embedded into an ongoing activity, while uh, all capabilities of four sensing complex are handed in the uh, uh, Android service uh, for running in, in uh, the background of the, uh, the application. We have uh, implemented a uh, uh, sample uh, use case for validating our uh, uh, solution. So uh, we have implemented uh, an ETS uh, which has uh, the student to acquire the uh, competences about uh, resolving the uh, standard uh, equation and here uh, we show the implementation of uh, the ideas with uh, the, the services which are uh, unfulfilled and the solution satisfies several requirements. Uh, we have uh, made benefits from schematics of OGI for adaptability and economic recovery. Uh, we have also uh, made possible mobility and context square tennis over on the roof. We aim in the future to experiment more uh, changing context settings and evaluate each time and performance during several training uh, And finally, uh, thank you for your attention.